If you observe the life cycle of any sexually reproducing plant, you will notice that it alternates between a sporophytic generation and a gametophytic generation. This is termed as alternation of generations. In the life cycle of the fern, for instance, the main plant body, a mature sporophyte, bears sporangia, which produce haploid spores through meiosis. These spores undergo mitosis and germinate into a prothallus, a gametophyte with haploid cells. The prothallus bears the antheridium and archegonium that respectively produce antherozoids and egg, the haploid male and female gametes. The fusion of these haploid gametes results in the formation of a diploid zygote which undergoes mitosis to reproduce a diploid young sporophyte. The young sporophyte soon matures into an adult sporophyte, completing the life cycle. The plant body thus alternates between a sporophytic generation and a gametophytic generation. However, in different plant groups, either the sporophytic generation or the gametophytic generation is the dominant phase, or in other words, persists for a longer period. This difference gives rise to three patterns of life cycle in plants. The haplontic life cycle, diplontic life cycle, and haplodiplontic life cycle. In the haplontic life cycle, observed in algae such as Chlamydomonas, Spirogyra, and Wolvox, the sporophytic generation is represented by a single-celled diploid zygote and there are no free living sporophytes. This zygote undergoes meiosis to form haploid spores which divide mitotically to produce a free living gametophyte. Since mitosis occurs only in the haploid phase, the resulting gametophytes are also called haplons and the life cycle is called the haplontic life cycle wherein the gametophytic generation is the dominant phase. In the diplontic life cycle observed in gymnosperms and angiosperms the gametophytic generation is represented by a single or a few celled gametophyte. On the other hand the dominant sporophytic generation is represented by a diploid, free-living and photosynthetic sporophyte. In the haplodiplontic life cycle, observed in bryophytes and pteridophytes, both sporophytic and gametophytic generations are multicellular and free-living. However, the dominant phases are different in the life cycle of bryophytes and pteridophytes. In bryophytes, for instance, a free-living thalloid photosynthetic and erect haploid gametophyte represents the dominant phase. On the other hand, the sporophytic generation is short-lived, during which the multicellular sporophyte is totally or partially dependent on the gametophyte for its anchorage and nutrition. In pteridophytes, the photosynthetic sporophyte with vascular tissues is the dominant phase that alternates with the haploid, independent, multicellular, saprophytic or autotrophic gametophyte. Apart from bryophytes and pteridophytes, certain algae such as Ectocarpus and Polysiphonia also exhibit the haplodiplontic life cycle. Thus, every plant cycle is marked by alternation of the sporophytic with the gametophytic phase. However, the dominant phase differs in different plant groups.